Hello everybody, Judge Free Time here. Today in this video I'm going to show you how to read um, off a multimeter on your own home socket. Now, why would I show you this? Well, because when I researched how to uh, read off a multimeter on a socket, there wasn't much help on there. Uh, people were ripping the sockets off and all that sort of un unnecessary stuff. That's probably good if you're a full-time electrician changing wires around and checking you've got the polarity right and all that sort of stuff. But for me, I just want to test the socket to see how much voltage is going through it. So, what you need to do is you've got to make sure that you've got the leads in the right holes right here. Make sure they're like that. Also, what you need to know is that this is your positive, this is your negative. On a socket like this, you have the neutral and the live. So, uh, negative and live, basically. So, what you need to do first is put it into 600 volts, like that, and the multimeter should have that sort of symbol, depending on uh, what model you have. There's better ones available, obviously. So, you can't just... Uh, put your probes in straight away, not like uh, America where you can easily just put them in and take a reading. Uh, this is a UK socket which means that there's more safety on this um, than most sockets. Uh, so it stops you kids from putting a fork in or whatever into this. So what you'll have to do is you'll have to use one of these right here, like one of these socket covers or something that can probe into it. Um, so basically what you need to do is you need to plug this into the actual ground right here, turn it on at the socket and then what you need to do is put the live wire in there and the neutral and there you go. That's how you read off a multimeter for a UK socket. So as you can see we've got 241 volts. Um, so yeah, that's basically how you do it. Um, some people would not use a uh, freeway adapter, but considering that the socket we're using right here is kind of difficult, uh, it's kind of difficult to read off it, but uh, you can tenderly do it, depending on how new the socket is. You can also do the same for this, right here, give it a wiggle, there you are, 241 volts. So there you go, that's a very simple way to do it. Um, as I say, you know, uh, I tried to look online uh, how to read off it, but unfortunately people were like, you know, take off this entire thing and they're like, you know, wiring up a building or whatever and testing it. Well, that's pretty good for electricians, but for someone that wants to just quickly read it and uh, don't want to use those horrible socket to read the things that don't always work 100%, this is the only way to do it. So, remember what I said, uh, ground plug that into the ground and then you prod them in otherwise you're not going to get no reading today so that's it basically that's how you do it don't forget to comment rate subscribe and i'll see you in the next one cheers mm -hmm.